Hey guys, want to do a video today and take a look at a uh, new rifle I just recently purchased at a gun show a couple weeks ago. How many of you recognize this beauty? This is the uh, Lee Enfield SMLE. This is the number one Mark III, one of my favorite models of Lee Enfields out there. I've always admired this rifle. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Some fine craftsmanship, good old war horse through several world, war, world wars and numerous other conflicts. Um, this particular model is uh, made in 1941 at the Lithgow Armory in uh, Australia. So it is a wartime production uh, model made there in Australia. Um, probably saw some combat or something. The wood, to say, is not in the best shape in the world. The furniture isn't, but uh, that's what gives them character. That's why I like the Mosin Nagant so much. But um, I've always admired these rifles. This is the first one I've ever owned. Um, never found one that was in good enough shape for the money, I thought. But um, got to talking to an older gentleman at the gun show last week, or a couple weeks ago rather, and um, he made me a really good offer on it. And like I say, the wood, the furniture has got some, uh, it's got some battle scars for sure. But um, for the action, really slick. The bore is in excellent condition. That's what things I really look at. This, I believe, it'll probably be a good shooter. Um, just some, like I say, I'm not as uh, up to date on these as I am the uh, the Mosin Nagants. I'm just learning this rifle. Really, been doing a lot of reading on it. And uh, but um, just quickly, uh, let's look at the rear sight. Uh, rear sight here is it. Elevated sight, pretty typical for that era of uh, battle rifles, out to 2,000 meters. Um, like you say, uh, the safety on it, a little bit easier than the safeties on, say, my Mosin again. It's just this lever here. Just flip it back, it's on safety, forwards off. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But um, these old rifles have been around for a lot of years, like I say, through several world wars. Um, back in the day, World War I. Um, back in the day when um, uh, the Mausers and the Mosin Nagants and the Springfields, the, the five-shot fixed magazine was the, uh, the norm, but the Lee Enfield kind of busted that. Back in the day, this was considered a, a lot of firepower for the fact that it had a 10-round uh, detachable magazine. So twice the rounds of all the other uh, battle rifles of its day. And... Um, Short, quick action. These rifles were known for their extreme accuracy um, and just their high rate of fire. I read many accounts where German soldiers um, charging British uh, troops came under fire with um, thousands of these, hundreds of these, and, and could have sworn they were uh, taking automatic gunfire. The, uh, the Tommies were really good at uh, what they called the mad minute. They could fire off it said 30 rounds and 30 rounds a minute with these things, aim shots at that. So quite an accomplishment with a bolt action rifle, but just a beautiful example of it. A really nice, got a brass butt plate there with the uh, trap door there for cleaning supplies or kit. I suppose that's what that was intended for. But um, just a beautiful rifle. Really glad to have it. It shoots the uh, 303 British cartridge, which. Uh, you can take a look there. Um, sorry about the band-aid. My thumb is still um, recuperating from that AK unfortunate Wasser incident we had down here at the range. But um, uh, pretty nice round. That's a 174 grain full metal jacket. Um, it's got a good little punch to it. And uh, like I said, these rifles are known for their accuracy. So I'm going to load her up here. We're going to take a few rounds down range at the T post down there. I got three bottles sitting there just waiting to, for some action. So let me get her loaded up and we'll uh, we'll take a few shots here. Like I said that front sight on this thing uh, has been it's been drifted somewhat, so uh, drifted to the left just a little bit. So I don't know. We'll see how accurate it is. Like I say this is first time shooting it, so um, you guys bear with me. But um, tell you what, these rounds are expensive. I don't know if any of you guys out there know where I can get 303 British surplus or any other kind of ammo cheap. These are factory rounds, but. I don't just looking at cheaper and dirt some of the other websites for 303 British ammunition. I don't believe I could have uh, found a more expensive rifle to shoot than this one if I'd have tried. So, but we're going to shoot a few here. Um, see how she does. Let me get three loaded up here. And uh, like I say, you can get stripper clips for these. I don't presently own any, but um, plan to acquire some in the future. 
All right, well, let's uh, take a few shots downrange, guys. Hopefully, I can hit these things. All right. Sure, in view here. Let's see what we can do. Holy mackerel. Had a catastrophic failure on the T post there, so. Uh, anyways, that looked like a pretty good shot. Um, I'll uh, see if we can uh, maybe take out the rest of those here in a minute. Let me get it set back up. I'll be right back. All right, we got it set back up down there. Um, do enough dirt shooting around here. I want it up on the post where we can see the full effect of the hit. But um, recoil's not too bad. Pretty manageable. That first shot wasn't that bad. Um, I think Mimosa might kick a little bit harder. This is a pretty heavy, pretty significant gun. A lot of wood furniture here gives it some heft. But um, got them set back up down on us. See if we can take those other two out right quick. Yeah, the recoil is not that bad. It's actually quite pleasant. I know it doesn't kick near as hard as the carbine versions of my Mosin, so I like it, guys. It seems fairly accurate. The way they got that front sight drifted, I think it shoots a little to the, uh, maybe right. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to have to work on that. I haven't taken it back to any distance yet. That'll be some future videos to come, but nice rifle, guys. I really like it. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful classic old war horse there. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.